Um, mysterious memories aside. So we have we have the basically this is a combination of the Golem package and the Dervish package and not a lot else. Formed into um Oh hey Damien <laughs> I was just thinking about you the other day. How bizarre. Um oh, good to see you. How's it going? What are you doing these days? Uh yeah, this is formed of uh the Golem package and the Dervish package swooshed together, and basically that's it. There's some removal, which you can probably predict what removal. Because this is of a trivia deck. Um, there's some third wishes as finishes. There's inner oasis because we're a flood deck. There's ghoulie because it's a bridge, and that's basically it. So it's a very, very lean kind of stripped down deck because you know you have to have a decent density of both creature types for it to work. So just quickly, the list is: we have first wishes because they're really good for consistency, early game tempo, value, all the rest of it. God's great. Celebrant, uh, dream shaper, and metallurgist, the cheap golems. These are common two drops of Vitruvian for good reason. They're good in control because you can play them and then just cycle them and draw more cards. So you're not losing cards for having two drops in your deck without while still being able to contest board. And they're great in aggro decks because they let you go super wide, draw lots of cards, play lots of minions. They discount each other. They're just super useful for board flooding without running out of resources. And then we also have Ethereal Obelisk, Fireblaze Obelisk, and Dunecaster, the Dervish package. Uh, there's no Lava Storm Obelisk, but... Um, they probably could be, like you can maybe put those in as an adjustment. Um, and then we have Ghoulie, which is both. And Ghoulie is great because you can Dunecaster it, you can Third Wish it. I've actually played Ghoulie in Third Wish Aggro before in tournaments, and it was surprisingly good. But this was like a year and a half ago, so the meta is probably a bit more, a bit more of a big, a bit more of a higher power level these days. Uh, there's Wind Striker, which is another nice golem that. Plays well into the aggro plan. It's like a reasonable tempo thing because you get immediate impact on buffing Xerix and then a one full flyer that can just sort of, you know, kill heart seekers and carry buffs well, carries buffs well. Um, as well as counting as an additional golem for Sirocco, who's sort of our big finisher. If the aggro plan doesn't work or if they deal with our board, we can make another one in an instant with Sirocco um, for a nice heavy hitter. And we can even use Inner Oasis to protect it from board wipes. Um, finally, we have Blood of Air and Sandstorm Reader so that we can kill things and interact with things and maintain tempo. And Science Third Wish as a finisher slash surprise. Ghoulie is now a 6-7 on turn 2 kind of play. And that's it. That's the list. It's very... It's quite stripped down, quite compressed. Again, just to make sure you have enough density of everything so it works. Um, I tend to like lists like that. They're relatively focused. Um, they, you know, it's sort of every... It means they're they're linear, but it's an aggressive deck. It's meant to be linear. That's a, generally a good thing. And there's enough interaction that we don't just lose to any random large minion that gets in the way. Abyssian.